Hi, welcome back and thanks for watching again. My name is Arito. Um, today we're going to be comparing the overdrive tones of two different types of overdrive circuits. Um, this is a pedal that I made, um, I don't know, maybe seven or eight years ago. I'm not quite sure. Um, and by the way, uh, today I don't have any schematics to show. Um, I don't have any schematics of this pedal. And the other pedal we'll be using is the breadboard overdrive. So um, you can see schematics of that in the build that we did in a previous video. But anyway, um, I wanted to compare the breakup tones and the overdrive characteristics of two different types of overdrives. And what I mean by that is uh, this pedal is an FET based overdrive. So it's using FETs, uh, I think specifically in this I have MOSFETs instead of JFETs. Um, but it's using FETs kind of sort of um, like a tube in a tube amp. Um, meaning that there are multiple amplification stages running into each other and then it naturally overdrives that FET. So there are absolutely no clipping diodes in this type of an overdrive. Um, that is said to sound um, very crunchy and has this breakup characteristic um, that lends itself more to something like a tweed amp um, or uh, early plexi amps. And I remember um, when I built this, I was crazy over that blues breaker early Eric Clapton sound and the JTM 45, the really early JTM 45s um, and a lot of the tweed amps um, like the basements. And so I really wanted a pedal that had that kind of sound and that breakup characteristic. Um, so th I think that's what I was going for when I built this. Um, but you do definitely see a lot of uh, pedals on the market that are using this type of topology. Um, that are going for that kind of sound. Um, and then we're going to compare this against um, the breadboard overdrive. And so regular viewers of my channel uh, should be very familiar with that. It's just a very typical, um, extremely simplified op amp soft clipping overdrive. And so it's a very different way to achieve overdrive breakup compared to something like this. Um, so we're going to compare the two tones, uh, but it's not going to be a straight on comparison because the tone, uh, the frequency response is very different between these two pedals. Um, so it's not going to be an exact comparison and it's going to be very difficult to know um, what you're hearing because you're going to hear more bass in one pedal and less bass in the other and whatever, whatever, more mid-range. And, and that's going to affect how you hear and perceive the breakup. Um, so I tried my best. I spent a couple hours uh, trying my best to get this and the breadboard overdrive to sound as close as possible. It would be best if I could build two pedals with the exact same frequency response, one with FETs and then the other with op-amp soft clipping, um, but uh, we don't have that here today. So it's just going to be a fun comparison, um, nothing too serious uh, as most of my videos are, um, but I hope you enjoy the comparison um, and enjoy some of the different tones that we get out of this. I also have uh, my modded um, Boss OD2 in there as well because that is sort of a JFET overdrive. Um, although it's not this type of topology, it is using JFETs to emulate an op amp. Um, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I did make a video on uh, the Boss OD2 and the mods I did. I talked briefly about what that circuit is trying to do. Um, and so in the turbo on mode of the Boss OD2, it's just JFETs. There are uh, BJTs in there as well, but it's it's the JFETs that are doing the clipping and there are no um, diodes involved in the clipping. So we're going to compare that against this to see what the differences are, um, if any. Uh, but anyway, so let's go into the tone comparison. Um, and as always, uh, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Okay, so we're taking a look at the pedals here. Um, and so this is the FET overdrive. Um, that's the gain, that's the output volume, and that is the tone knob. Um, and this is the um, now familiar uh, breadboard overdrive. And that's the gain. Um, I have set the tone and the output volume trim pots um, to get as close as possible to the FET overdrive. 
Um, and then this is my modded OD2. We're in the turbo on mode, um, which uh, doesn't have any diode clipping in it, and it's just the uh, JFIT op amps um, clipping. Uh, but this is just kind of an added comparison, so we're going to mostly focus on these two. Um, and one thing I do have to point out is that um, I modded one thing from the stock breadboard circuit, and that is I've added um, a 0 0.022 microfarad capacitor in parallel with the 0 0.047 microfarad capacitor coming off that first op amp. Um, and by adding it in parallel, we basically have a 0 0.069 microfarad capacitor, which is going to add um, a little bit more low end. Um, and I did that because this pedal has tons of low end because, again, uh, like I said in the intro, um, I was going for that early JTM45 slash uh, tweed basement type tone. So this has quite a bit of low end in there. Um, so to match that, I had to add a little more bass to the breadboard overdrive. Otherwise, it's completely as it was um, when we first built it. And so if you're interested in this circuit, uh, please watch that video. But anyway, um, I'm on my Telecaster. And uh, let's start off with the neck pickup. Um, I, I do have some loops right after this. So um, we're going to play a bunch of loops. Um, and then you can hear the tones back to back. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is the input for the breadboard overdrive. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's a mini toggle switch here. In the down position, it's going to be bypassed. And then in the up, it's going to be the overdrive. So uh, I think we are completely bypassed right now. Okay, and so let's first switch on the breadboard overdrive. And so for um, for the moment, I'm not going to include the OD2 in the comparison. Uh, what I want to do later is do a direct comparison between the OD2 and the FAT overdrive. These two should sound pretty close because they don't have your typical op amp feedback loop soft clipping. Uh, but so I'm not going to play this right now. Um, and anyway, uh, going back to the two, I think you definitely noticed a difference in how the two break up. Um, again. The FET circuit does seem a little more crunchy. The breadboard overdrive, um, it does have a smoother, more even, creamy uh, overdrive to it. But anyway, uh, let's just continue with the comparison. Um, I'll go, I'll start on, off on the neck pickup again and then go into the bridge. One thing I do want to demonstrate is uh, how the frequency response of these two pedals, um, these two pedals are different. Um, like I said, with the FET overdrive, um, I made it so that it has a lot more low end and it sounds uh, like a tweed amp or um, an early plexi amp. Um, this is more your traditional overdrive circuit and so it has a little bit of a mid hump. Um, not quite as pronounced as what a tube screamer would have, um, but it definitely um, has a little bit of mid hump. It has shaved off a little bit of low end. 
I did try to get them to sound as close as possible. Like I said earlier, by adding a extra capacitor on the first op amp, so it has a little bit more low end, uh, but they definitely do sound quite different. So well, let me try to demonstrate that. Um, I'm on my neck pickup and just playing some of the lower notes on an E chord. Okay, so hopefully, um, I don't know if it comes through in the YouTube compression, but hopefully you can hear the difference in the bass frequencies um, and also in how the lower frequencies break up. Um, and that's going to be a big part of the op amp soft clipping circuit. Uh, because of the way op amp soft clipping is designed, um, the lower frequencies are going to break up a little bit differently. And so um, you're going to have the biggest difference between these two pedals at those low frequencies. And that's also partly due because of the tone circuit as well. But um, so let's go to some of the sort of the mid to high frequencies and they won't sound as dramatically different. Okay, so hopefully um, it comes through that they do sound uh, quite a bit closer than they did with the lower notes. And so let's just jump into the loops. Um, I have, uh, as usual, I have a Strat, a Tele, and a humbucker guitar, um, and I'm playing through different pickups. Um, and so hopefully we'll be able to hear some of the differences and the similarities between these two circuits. Anyway, so let's just dive into the loops, and I hope you enjoy the comparison.
Okay, so, um, and now let's compare the uh, Boss OD2. This is my modded version. Um, and if you're interested in the mods I did, I have a full length video um, going deep into the schematic and talking about what I did to this. Um, but uh, even in the stock mode, um, without the mod, once you're in the turbo on mode with the OD2, you don't have any uh, clipping diodes and it's just the JFET op amps. And um, when you're in the turbo on mode, it's just going to be two of those discrete JFET op amps um, sort of cascading into each other. So the all the overdrive you're hearing is going to be from those JFET uh, discrete op amps um, without any clipping diode. So I wanted to include this and compare it against my MOSFET overdrive. Um, again, that's a completely different design. It's basically just a bunch of MOSFET uh, amplification stages cascading into each other with a tone stack somewhere in the middle, I think. Um, so it's a very different design to this, but essentially they are kind of doing the same thing. And to hear what the breakup sounds like, uh, one, this is a JFET and that's a MOSFET. And two, uh, these two are similar, but again, uh, completely different in design as far as how the FETs are used. Um, so we'll, do, we'll include this and uh, that should be a fun comparison.
Okay, um, and so the next thing I want to do is crank uh, the gain on all three pedals um, and hear what it sounds like with the gain maxed out. Um, I, and I hope, um, I actually haven't tried this myself, so I'm kind of looking forward to what we'll get, but I hope that that's going to really bring out the characteristics of each circuit design. Um, and so we'll try that. And then after that, uh, let me try to see if I can get some crunch tones. Um, but once you start tweaking the gain, um, the frequency response is going to change for each pedal. And so you might have more bass once you crack the gain. Um, and then so once we go into the, the maxed out gain and then also into the crunch tones, um, the tone response is going to be a little bit different. But uh, just bear with me with that and just try to hear uh, how the breakup characteristics are different. Um, so anyway, uh, let's try that out.
Thank you.